YouTube fam. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Thursday. I am literally so excited because I have noticed that this BYOB series is really a hit so far. You guys are loving it, which is giving me the confidence to keep doing it, and I love all of your suggestions and feedback, so keep them coming, guys. So far in this series, I have given you guys some advice on kind of how to figure out what your brand is, and then how to establish that brand, and how to create the imagery and photography tips around the brand, and today, I am going to share with you guys how to figure out your style. Now some of you guys that have been watching this series from the beginning are like, okay, when is she going to get to the good stuff? When is she going to start talking about like how to make money on your website? When is she going to start talking about all that stuff? Well, hold on guys, because I feel like we still have a few more things to chit chat about before we can get to the fun part. So bear with me, and if you have already, I love you so much, but I promise you it's really important to get these basics down in the beginning so that when you do get to a point where you're starting to sell yourself, you're not gonna stumble upon these issues and wonder like, oh gosh, how come I didn't think about that before? Now, personally, I really think that your style can sort of give people like a little sneak peek into kind of like who you are and your personality. Um, and that just goes with like personal style. You know, if you're gonna walk into somebody's closet or you're gonna walk into your own closet, what do your clothes say about you, right? Well, it works the same way in sort of like the internet marketing and branding world. Now, the content style that you put out there, what is it saying about your brand? Now, if I go on your social media right now, let's say I go on your Instagram, and I look at the past 10 pictures on your feed, I see that you have, you know, tons of makeup photos, lots of up-close selfies on maybe your eyeshadow, maybe lipstick shades, all of that. That's gonna give me a general idea that your brand style is all about beauty. Now, it's really important that when you're creating your rich content, whether that's a blog post or maybe a YouTube video or whatever the case might be, it is important that your style online and across your social media matches to your brand. Um, it's really hard sometimes because, you know, like I said previously in other videos, we want to talk about our fitness diets and sometimes we want to talk about all of this and maybe that's okay for your brand. But say you are specifically focused on beauty then you want to focus on beauty and only beauty for the time being, especially in the beginning when you're trying to kind of establish a presence online and you want to be taken seriously. You really have to stick to what you know. Let's talk about bloggers for a second. You know, now I feel like there are specific categories that we can place different bloggers in. You know, there's the traditional bloggers who kind of really paved the way, the girls who started it all. And then there's the emerging bloggers, the girls that are hungry and they're really trying to get in and, and make their mark. And then there's, you know, the YouTubers and the, you know, online personalities. And so you have to decide which category you fit into. If not any of those categories, you guys, you have to find your category, if that makes sense. And then you wanna be able to stylize your content around that specific brand. Now it's really hard to give advice on you know tips for finding your style, but what I would say is definitely trial and error. You know, like maybe what works for one person may not work for the other, and it may not work for you. So I think it's important to kind of figure out like what is your focus point now that you do know what your brand is, and how do you want to stylize that? There are so many creative ways to go about doing it. Um, I will say, you know, when it comes to social media and specifically Instagram, you know, a lot of the times bloggers we get anxiety. We're like, oh. Oh my gosh, I can't post two back-to-back -back selfies, or oh my gosh, I need a food pick in here and a scenery pick. But if you notice, all of these bloggers are doing the same thing and it's getting boring. So what you've gotta do is honestly, if your personality is your brand, I say show your personality in every single post that you put out. You know, it's important to do videos, it's important to maybe like get a lip gloss and have fun with it. You know, make it a messy post and say that, oh my gosh, my lip gloss isn't perfect. Just show your personality in everything that you do. I think that's really important right now in this day and age. And people online, they wanna be entertained. A lot of the times, people go to the internet to kind of escape their everyday lives and maybe they're having a bad day. So it's important that when you're stylizing your content is to think about that person who's having a bad day and try to make them laugh, try to make them smile and know that it's all about your style and the content that you put out, okay? 
Now what I recommend is every month what I do is I go back and I look at everything. I look at my social media, I look at my blog, and I say, okay, what worked for me this month and what didn't? I think it's really important to do that because then you're able to kind of refresh your content, refresh your style if you need to, and you're able to see what works and what doesn't. That's really, really important. In closing, I'm just gonna say, you know, if you're really stumped on trying to figure out like, well, what is my style? Like, what do I want my style to be? Kind of figure out like, who are some of the brands that you wanna align yourself with in the future? Also, it's important to note, like, who is your audience? You know, if it's that 14-year-old girl from Texas, it's important to try to, you know, cater to that audience. So keep that in mind. Um, it's also really important to see what other people are doing online and kind of stay not on that bandwagon, but to keep in mind how you can kind of add your twist and your new unique take to these trending topics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, you guys are more than welcome to comment below and let me know if you guys have any questions or tips and suggestions um, for making this BYOB series even better. All right, so just a little note, you know, next Thursday, I am not gonna be posting anything actually um, on my channel or my blog because it's the day before I'm getting married. Ah! So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be in panic mode just trying to get everything, you know, ready last minute. So I'm not gonna be having a BYOB video next week or the following week since I'll be on my honeymoon. So I hope you guys will bear with me. I don't usually take time off. You guys know me when it comes to, you know, creating content for you guys. But as you know, it's a special time in my life right now and I'm like, you know what? I'm totally okay with turning it all off. And sometimes, you guys, that is what's really important for your brand is knowing like when to turn it off, okay? So maybe I should save that for like another video because I can go on and on about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe to my channel for plenty more beauty, fashion, BYOB, educational videos, um, and all that jazz. Okay, until next time. Bye.